Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you five home hacks that I feel might make your life a little bit easier and the home life a little bit easier as well. I have been using these hacks for quite a long time now and I love them, which is why I wanna share them with you. So I really hope you enjoy them too. Let me know which is your favorite and also let me know if you already use these hacks at home and if you have any more that you wouldn't mind sharing with me so I can make more videos like this. I'm just gonna jump straight on into this video, but before I do, I want to let you know that I'm gonna be doing lots more hack videos this year because I feel like they are just super helpful. And if I can help one of you live a kind of easier life in some small part of it, then I feel like I have done a good job. <laughs> right, so with all that said, let's get into hack number one. So I'm hoping that it's not just us that has a drawer like this in their home. I feel like every home has one of these drawers. It's the drawer where kind of nothing belongs and everything just gets sort of shoved in there. Nothing has a place. So I'm gonna show you how you can create your own free organization. So what I love to do is when I buy some eggs, I love to cut the box in half and then I use one side and the little compartments for smaller objects to store and the other side is what I use for longer, more awkward items to store like pens and things like that. I know some of you might be thinking this isn't a very pretty way to have drawer storage, but it's free. And if ever it needs changing out because it gets a bit grubby, the great thing with this is that you can throw it away, it's recyclable, and you can just pop a new one in when you get some more eggs. So instead of buying the kind of plastic containers, I feel like this works just as well. You can use as many egg boxes as you would like, and you can use this hack in any drawer in your home too. Right, the next hack is not only going to save you time, but also going to save you money too. So we have a washing machine and a tumble dryer, but since the energy prices have gone kind of crazy expensive, we haven't really used our tumble dryer that much. I like to kind of um, do a wash in the day, hang it out overnight, and I find by the morning it is nice and dry. But every now and then we obviously need to do a quick turnaround with clothes and get them dry as soon as possible. So if you do need to use a tumble dryer, my hack here is to put in with your wet clothes a dry towel. By adding the dry towel to your tumble dryer, it's going to just take away so much of the excess moisture that would have taken longer in the tumble dryer to dry without the towel. This is such a good hack, and like I said, it's a money-saving hack too. So I'm someone who absolutely loves a delicious smelling home. So what I have started to do is make my own room spray. What I love about this is you can customize it so you can make it smell different every single time you make a spray. And it obviously won't cost you too much too. I have quite a few essential oils at home anyway. I've kind of collected them over time. So every time I make a room spray, which I do using water, just tap water, and then quite a few Few drops of my essential oils. So as you can see, I've got a few neon ones to choose from here. And what I'm going to go for is boost your energy. This is such a lovely smell. So once I've added my drops to my water, I am just able to then spritz around any room that I want to smell lovely. This spray bottle that I have got is actually a small spray bottle. I got some of their reusable bottles so I could create my own room sprays. They do do lots of different cleaning ranges that you use their bottles for but this one I have got now is now solely dedicated to my room sprays. This is a really lovely cost-effective way for you to make your home smell amazing. The next hack is how I feel is the best way to dust your home. So I do feel like dusters can often just leave extra dust when dusting. And I also don't love using like pledge or anything like that because I feel like it's really toxic and when I breathe it in, it's just not a nice smell at all. So what I have started doing instead is using color catchers to do my dusting. This is perfect for surfaces as well as baseboards on the kind of ledge of the base board where you get that kind of build up of dust. So as you can see, I'm showing you this table here in 
bright sunlight because I feel like that's the best way to see dust on items. So this table, as you can see, is really quite dusty. And like I said, when I use an actual duster for this, I feel like it doesn't capture all the dust. However, as you can see, when I use the color catcher, it really does take away all of the dust on the table. It's a great thing to also, once you've used it, just shake it out outside all the dust will come off and then you can just pop it away with the rest of your cleaning products and use it again time after time. This is obviously a non-toxic way of dusting your home, which I much prefer. And it's also just so much better, I feel, than using anything else. So the last hack I want to share with you is probably something you've seen before, but if you haven't, then this is definitely one to remember. So I often will buy items that have a sticky label at the bottom. I'm actually just showing you a candle here today, which usually I wouldn't remove the sticker from the bottom. But when I buy new mugs or new cups or new plates and things like that, and it has the stickers on the bottom, I find it so irritating when I cannot peel the sticker off or when I start to peel it off, it breaks halfway through and then most of it is still left on the item so the best thing to do here is to get a hair dryer and you just want to heat the sticker up by doing that you're going to loosen the glue on the sticker which is going to make it so easy to peel off as you can see I learned this hack not so long ago and I feel like it has been a game changer so I really hope you enjoy it too and you can go around your house now and start removing all of those little labels that have been stuck on for far too long. So those are the five home hacks that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you have enjoyed them. Please let me know which one is your favorite, if you would like to see more of these videos, and if you have any hacks that you would love to share with me, I would love to include them into my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.